would repair this issue. I would hit power and immediately start tapping on F12 to enter your Dell Diagnostics. What we're going to do first is test your hardware. Hit power again, tap on F12. Sometimes it takes a couple tries to get in there, but slowly but surely, it will take me to this screen. Once I'm in the screen, click on Diagnostics and it will immediately start stress testing your hard drive and RAM. So two things, if your hard drive fails a diagnostic, then you're gonna to need to go ahead and replace that. We have a video down below on how to do that. If your RAM or memory, uh, it's another word for it, fail the diagnostic, that's another thing you'll need to replace. Both these can be a cause for this boot loop issue. Now, as we can see in the next screen, mine passed successfully, meaning it's most likely a software issue. So what I'm going to do is how it should work in one of these repair loop issues is you'll keep going to what's called a recovery screen, which you'll see in around a minute and 40 of this video, where you have options to reset your computer. If you are not for some reason reaching that reset screen, it could be an issue that your system is just so corrupt, you need a fresh install of Windows. So if you're not reaching that screen, use our video down below to reinstall Windows. That would be the next step for those people. But if you do reach this screen, then the next step would be hit troubleshoot and then reset this PC. Um, there's a keep my files option and the remove everything option. Keep my files does not work as well for repairing this issue. You can try it, um, but you might need to do the remove everything option like I'm selecting and then local reinstall is what I'm going to select. Uh, you can try the cloud download, but it is a little bit more complicated and it doesn't work for every setup. So we're gonna go with the local reinstall. So I'm gonna select for local reinstall and this should fish, fix that preparing automatic repair loop. Usually there's an issue with your operating system and that's why we're doing this because we've established the hardware is good. So I'm gonna do fully clean the drive. Now keep in mind when I do this, I will move all my data. You can also do that original one where I showed you to keep my files option, but this option does make you lose all your data. Once I hit reset, the reset will start. Now, if you find the reset does not complete, errors out, or just takes hours on end and never seems to complete, then you will also need to try that reinstall of Windows option. Um, and once again, we have a video on how to do that from a USB down below. So if you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. And from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.
then on the next page, reset this PC. Now you have two options. Keep my files does not work as well, um, but you will keep all your files, but remove everything is the absolute best way to find fix an issue like this. You can try keep my files first, but I'm going to go with remove everything. But although I will lose all my data. Local reinstall is the next thing I'm going to do. You can do da download from the cloud, but it's a little bit uh, trickier and it depends on whether or not you have a uh, WLAN set up with your computer. So we're going to do this simpler method. Reset locally. Uh, and then once again, remove my files or uh, just remove my files or fully clean the drive, fully clean the drive. It's going to delete everything. This is, you can once again try the soft reset option and keep your files on the first one. But as I said, it doesn't work as well. So you can fully reset. I'm going to hit the reset button. Um, but that's how you go ahead and reset your computer. If for any reason this doesn't work, uh, the next step in the troubleshooting method would be to reinstall the operating system because it could be that your system is too corrupt. You can use that with a USB. Uh, we have a video on that down below how to reinstall Windows. So if the reset errors out, doesn't complete, the next step would try to do a complete fresh install of Windows. We show you how in the video down below. Anyway, if this video was in any way helpful, please like and share.